What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, it's winter and now it's time to turn our focus to indoor projects for the uh, do-it-yourselfers like myself. And so I wanted to bring you in about halfway through a project that I'm working on which is this desk. Now this is... Um, at, at first I was a little bit embarrassed about this because uh, I felt like maybe it was cutting a corner. Um, I'm really really busy at work so you may have noticed that I don't produce as many videos as I used to. But uh, so what I wanted to do, I knew we, we needed a desk up here on this. This is the second floor, as you can see. Uh, there's the stairs and everything. Um, but we needed a place for our son to, to do homework and play video games that was in a public place, not in his bedroom. Uh, we also needed a space for someone else to do homework or to, uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of sewing stuff underneath there so for my wife to store her sewing equipment and to do some sewing. Um, but we didn't have money and we did, I didn't have time to build something custom from scratch as far as a desk goes. I've done that in the past and it's wor worked out well, but for this particular project I wanted to cut a corner or make it a little easier, a little less time consuming. And so what I've done is I've gone to Home Depot and I've gotten some kitchen lowers, some kitchen cabinet lowers. Um, in various uh, shapes and sizes and have used those as the base of the desk but when you purchase a, a lower a cabinet they'll they'll have a a place like a four inch place for your foot to go underneath um, and so I had to cut those off because standard desk height is about I believe it's 30 inches um, but they were, they were way too tall for standard desk height and also um, it just looks ugly to have that that uh, little f uh, kick plate thing on the bottom so what I did was I I got my circular saw and cut cut that part off now you'll notice that this part is not finished I do have the uh, the veneered piece to go on here you will also notice that I don't have this stained um, again this is halfway through the project I didn't want to kinda just have a reveal video or anything that's really usually not my style so I wanted to show you before this was all prettied up what it looks like and what you can do with with a little bit of time now if you if you wait for it uh, if you're patient or if you have a 10% coupon from from Lowe's or something like that you can usually get a pretty good deal on cabinets they'll go on sale from time to time or what I did on a couple of these was I got they'll usually have two or three or four that are kind of have minor defects with them. One of these had the the little bottom part like I was saying where your feet go under in the kitchen um, that part was damaged so I, I knew I was gonna chop that off anyway so I just bought it and that will save you a bunch of money. I probably spent total on all three of these cabinets less than three hundred dollars um, and then what you do is you get some nice uh, plywood, the hardwood plywood with the nice veneer on the top. Uh, this is sustainable and everything and you just cut it to length. So I, what I did was I took measurements of the available space that I had. I didn't want to go too far into you know the the landing here at the top of the stairs so I cut it off here. I also didn't want to cover up that outlet so I just measured how much I needed and I cut one piece lengthwise. You'll You'll be able to see the, uh, you know, that this is two pieces there. Um, so you cut one long piece here, or I did, cut one long piece there. I also put, you'll see underneath, that I used one by fours underneath to give it some strength. If you don't do that, what happens is, because I knew I wanted to have a place for a, a chair here, place for a chair here. Well, if you have that big of a, of a gap between supports, the, the plywood will sag a little bit and it won't be as strong. I wanted this to be very strong. And so that lands some support underneath. So there's a 1x4 underneath here and also in the back. There's another 1x4 at the back providing um, structural support. So all I really need to do to finish this up, and, and this, this one piece of plywood cost me about 40 bucks. So, you know, both of these pieces were cut from one piece. 
Um, and then the 1x4s, the cost is pretty negligible. So really for under $400 total, including stain, including all the screws and everything, um, I'm going to have a finished desk. And so, like I said, th there will be a, a veneered piece that just you kind of glue it on here, stain it. Same thing over here. There'll be a veneered piece and stain it. Now, I did have to laminate these two pieces together with some metal brackets um, so that there wouldn't be a buckle where those two pieces met. I also had to put some 2x4 supports in the back because the way I built this, he really, my son wanted a, a corner, a corner desk. He really likes that for some reason. So I knew there would need to be some support in the back. Anyway, I don't want to make this video too long, but I just wanted to show you uh, an idea of something that you can do pretty inexpensively on your own with basic power tools, circular saws, screwdriver, or um, uh, drills, and so forth. And I think it turned out pretty well so far. Obviously, it needs some finish work, but it's very functional and we really like it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.